Hi everyone, Remco from Heusigveld. Today I'd like to talk you through the process of calibrating your pedals in smart control software. I'm using the uh, Simpel Sprint 3 version. Uh, it also applies to uh, the 2 version, 2 pedal version and of course the ultimate pedals as well. Now, no calibration on these pedals, so I'll start from scratch using the start calibration button. Uh, all pedals are checked, that's fine, you can leave them all on even if you have two pedals. Next step, I'm not touching any of the pedals, so the uh, starting value of the pedals can be saved right now. Now, throttle. I'm going to push it to the max and I can just let it go again. In earlier versions of Smart Control you had to keep the pedal pressed all the way before pressing next. Uh, that has been improved, so I can go to the brake pedal, I'll just give it some random value and move on to the clutch. All the way in, all the way out, next step, and don't forget to press save. Whenever you do calibration in a Smart Control, always walk through all of the steps. Make sure you save two pedals. Now, if I switch over to the Profile tab, I can see that the pedals have no input when I'm not pressing them. And they have... Ah, that's perfect. I got 56 kilograms on the brake pedal with this longer rubber stack, just the way I like it. I'm going to save the active profile to the pedals and we're done.